When Kofi began sharing his faith in Christ, he angered local mosque leaders in Ethiopia. They sent a mob that beat Kofi so severely that his left hand had to be amputated. Kofi's response, I am happy not only to give my hand for Jesus, but I am ready to give my life for faith in Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for Kofi's witness to his community and to us. He didn't lose his hand, he gave it. In the same way, he lays his entire life before you. May we be as willing to sacrifice all for you. Amen. You are tuned to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions. And we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Good morning, everyone. This is your host, Pastor Vince. And we are back together once again on this Monday, March 6th, 2023. And this is Pray for the Persecuted. We come together every Monday morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, lifting up our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world in prayer. I just read for you the story of Kofi and the fact that he gave his hand up for Jesus, he says. He said, I am happy not only to give my hand for Jesus, but I am ready to give my life for faith in Jesus Christ. This week, we want to take a look at another country, a country where Christianity is restricted and where many people are giving up their lives for the cause of Christ. Every week here on uh, Pray for the Persecuted, we want to focus on a, a particular country in the world where Christianity is unwelcomed and where those who have chosen to follow Christ oftentimes lose their lives. Last week, we looked at the country of Afghanistan this week, we will take a look at Algeria. I will give you some facts on Algeria, and we will lift up our persecuted brothers and sisters in prayer. So let's take a look at Algeria this week. And I remind you that the information I'm sharing with you comes from the organization Voice of the Martyrs. Algeria, it's a restricted country, uh, and that means uh, restricted to Christianity. Uh, in other words, uh, Christianity is, you may as well say, forbidden in Algeria. Uh, the major religions in Algeria, 97% of Algerians are Sunni Muslims. And who is the persecutor? Well, it says here that Christian converts from Islam are persecuted by the government and their own family members. They also face a variety of hardships from the local community. So what does it mean to follow Christ in Algeria? Algeria is a shining example of church growth in North Africa and is also a, a leader for theological training and church development in the region. Although churches are allowed to meet openly, in 2018, the government temporarily closed many church buildings and harassed congregations. Sharing the gospel with Arabs can cause serious problems, but Berber Christians continue to share the gospel boldly in and around Al-Qaeda uh, terrorist camps. Secret communities of Arab Christians exist throughout the country. While it is not common for Christians to be imprisoned, one believer was imprisoned for nearly a year in connection 
with a social media post. So that is a little information on the country of Algeria and how difficult it is to be a Christian, a follower of Christ in the country of Algeria. Something else I want to share with you, uh, and this pertains to the entire month of March um, concerning um, the voice of the martyrs. And every month I'm looking at uh, my Bible here. This is a Bible um, uh, put together by the Voice of the Martyrs organization. It's called uh, Pray for the Persecuted Bible. It's a one-year uh, Bible. You can read through the Bible in one year. And um, every month, um, there's a different, I guess you want to say a different uh, prayer focus. And for the month of March, um, we are focusing on uh, remembering those in prison. It says, uh, the oppressive uh, regimes in restricted nations and those opposed to the gospel in hostile areas are often quick to target and imprison Christians. The intent is not to punish, but also to isolate and silence, to remove opportunity for believers to share their faith. But faithful disciples witness no matter where they are. Many men and women are coming to the Lord because they are locked in cells and, and believe, uh, uh, with believers, I'm sorry. They are locked in cells with believers. In the same way the Apostle Paul witnessed to his guards while in prison, our persecuted Christian family is witnessing to fellow inmates and even their captors. The Bible says in Matthew 5, 10 through 12, God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to study your word, to share your word, to witness to others in this country without fear of persecution. Lord, we understand that one day we will not always have these freedoms as we do right now here in this country, in the United States. There are many of our brothers and sisters around the world who have chosen to, to give up their lives for you, to literally lose their lives for you, to literally give up a, a part of their body like our brother Kofi did, or to entirely lose their lives for you. Let their examples show us or teach us here in the United States that if we are serious about following you, if we are serious about witnessing for you, we must be willing to give up our lives as well. Let everything that we say and do moving forward uh, represent you, Lord. May our lives be a witness to others that you are most powerful. You are sovereign. And that you deserve all the, uh, all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Let us be uh, powerful witnesses for you, Lord. Help us to be powerful witnesses for you, no matter the cost. Lord, help us to continue lifting up our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world. Thank you so much for their witness. And may their witness continue to teach us and empower us to keep moving forward for your cause. 
It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Friend, thank you for joining us here for another edition of Pray for the Persecuted here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we come together every Monday morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, lifting up our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world in prayer. May today's program be an inspiration to you to not be timid or hesitant about sharing Christ with others. May uh, may the Holy Spirit use you to lead others to him. Until we meet again next week here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may you continue to be a witness for him. This is your host, Pastor Vince Wilson, and you're listening to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Be blessed, friend, and take care.